Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This is a Brave Noise beer. I finally found one. Well, I knew where there was one, but I wasn't able to get down there until now and they still had it. So uh, this is Brave Noise Pale Ale. Forest and Main, 4.5% alcohol by volume. And this is a collaboration with a big goal, a safe and discrimination free beer industry scan this qr code to see our code of conduct oh it's a collab with notch i forgot about that this one hasn't been as a uh, i don't know if you can scan that or not maybe um <clears throat> is there a date on this now um uh I think this is the first one, at least that I know of, um, that a brewery within reasonable driving distance, I mean, Forest of Maine's like two hours from here, so, I mean, I guess that's somewhat reasonable, but, um, yeah, it's kind of a... Kind of disappointing that more people didn't do this. With them. You know, whatever. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's kind of pastel yellow ish, um, slightly hazy, about a finger of a nice white. Uh, it's a little bit foamy, but also a little bit uh, kind of bubble bathy, kind of. Kind of head, but yeah, looks like a looks like a pale ale. Kind of looks like a looks looks a little saisony maybe. You know, whatever. Looks like a pale ale. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh, super citrus. Uh, lemon was the first thing that came to mind, but I think grapefruit is actually the biggest thing. And it's given you, it's given you all the things. It's given, it's, it's like, uh, like when you, um, I don't know. It's given you, what I'm trying to say is it's given you the fleshy, grapefruit it's giving you a little bit of the pithy grapefruit it's giving you a little bit of that grapefruit peel zest whatever however you want to it's giving you a little bit of all the things yeah grapefruit biggest thing definitely lemon definitely lime and maybe and I'm reaching here, but maybe just a nice touch of a uh, crackery maltiness. Mm. I got a little bit of like a candied citrus thing in there as well. It's a nice sweetness to it. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, it's basically exactly that in the taste. Grapefruit, holy shit. I think they released this. If the, cause if you go on, um, uh, force the means. If you go on their website, they have dates on all of their, click on beer to go. Yeah. So they have, so they have pictures of the cans with the, with all of the, uh, descriptions underneath. Um, and then there's a date underneath that. And this one, 
October 12th, 2022. So assuming that that's the release date, today is November 26th, so it's like a month and a half old, give or take. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, super citrusy. It's a little less, um, it, on the nose, it was kind of equal parts like, or it was, it was a little bit more like juicy, fleshy in the taste. There's a bit of a, there's a bigger bitterness to it. So it's a little more pithy. But yeah, grapefruit, lemon, lime, maybe a little bit of orange. There's a little bit of that sweetness is still in there. So there's a little bit of like a candied citrus thing. Um, I, I thought I was getting a little bit of malt coming through on the nose, but I'm not really. I'm not really getting anything on the taste. There is a little bit of like, um, uh, and I don't know if this, because there is a drying, uh, a bit of a drying. It's not super dry, but it was a bit of a dryness to this. And I don't know if it's part of that, but there is like an earthy kind of, kind of, um, Maybe like an herbal thing. A little bit of like a, do they have a, this says, uh, there's also a description. Um, it says ripe pawpaws, juicy mango slivers, weed gummies, apricot, Danish, orange curd, vanilla, and some sassy grapefruits. I could maybe get a couple of those things if I reach for them, but I don't know. The biggest thing for me is the grapefruit. Um, it is quite sassy. Um, mm. I really like this. I think, I don't know. I made sure this was cold, but I think this might be I think this might be good, just a little, a little bit warmer, um, or a little, I don't know why I was going down a little bit, little, little bit warmer. Um, but yeah, that doesn't matter because this is a good, um, man, I haven't done one of these videos in a while. I don't remember all the words. Uh, it's a good, um, <sighs> fuck words. It's a good thing to support. I can't think of the other word right now. So I wanted to do that. Um, and if other breweries near you, whoever may be watching this is doing this or something similar to this, uh, well this, and then there's a few other things that go to support good causes and stuff like that. So y'all should be supporting the good stuff. Oh, my mouth's a bit dry now. Mm. I don't know what pawpaws taste like. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. You can like this video if you'd like to, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93 Lumber, that's spelled out, 93 Lumber. And we will see you in the next one. Cheers.